A North Dakota mom has uprooted her life and moved south in hopes of saving her life. We first introduced you to Ashley Secora in January. Bison Nation rallied around this former Bison cheerleader when they found out the young mom was given devastating news from doctors. Stage 4 cancer. With that support, Ashley decided to give a clinical trial a chance, hoping a different type of treatment would help her beat this cancer diagnosis. Valley News Team's Lisa Badeau has tonight's update on Ashley's story of hope and inspiration. We caught up with Ashley Secora over Skype. The North Dakota mom of two has temporarily moved to a different state, but her fight is the same. We're starting to really get homesick. The Secora family packed up their belongings in Towner and moved in with family in Texas so they could be close to one of the top hospitals for melanoma care. All the old melanoma statistics, you know, saying that um, I have a 5% chance of making it five years. That's pre-immunotherapy. Ashley is part of a clinical trial. She's not doing chemo or radiation. Instead, she's taking two FDA-approved drugs. The trial is about taking them both at the same time. Doctors also took a tumor out and are growing it in a Petri dish with the possibility of using it later to fight off the melanoma growing in her body. Clearly, all very new treatment options. Immunotherapy drugs just basically teach your body how to fight off the cancer using its own defenses. Ashley's cancer journey started when two and a half year old Harper was just nine months old. She thought she was in the clear, but found the melanoma was back while she was pregnant with Beckett. Treatment was put on hold to ensure a healthy pregnancy. But shortly after Beckett was born, Ashley found out the cancer had spread rapidly during her pregnancy and she was given a stage four diagnosis. To be quite honest, my bucket list is to just spend as much time with Dan and Harper and Beckett as possible. The Secoras are away from home, but are still together, and that has been key. The former NDSU cheerleader says her children give her a reason to fight. They cheer her up, even when the very difficult treatments she's undergoing have her too weak to hold her own baby. If it weren't for the kids, this would be miserable, you know? I mean, just the treatment itself and and especially my last weekend um but you know harper comes in pats my head and says are you feeling well mama and um beckett doesn't care he just gives me his big one dimpled grin and <laughs> dan and ashley are both teachers in towner ashley had to resign after eight years in the classroom the school district continues to support dan ashley while he prefers. stays by ashley's side I've known Ashley for over 10 years now. We've been together for over 10 years, and I've always imagined myself growing old with her, and I don't see that changing. I know this was a, a major setback that we never could have planned for, but um, I know that it's all going to be worth it. Ashley calls Dan her rock. The other guilt I have is for my husband. I mean, I've always appreciated him. I've always known how great he is, but I think my family appreciates him differently. They are in this together, fighting the odds for their family and their future. I do try to be a little bit um, ready for the future. I have a journal for Dan and a journal for Beckett and a journal for Harper, and I write to them. Um, but I figure they can have a journal even if I'm giving it to them, you know, when in three years, five years, 10, whatever. So they can read my thoughts. Ashley knows nothing is promised to her, but her passion for life and family is sure to help her in the battle she has in front of her. Lisa Badeau, Valley News Live. Now, Ashley was taken out of the trial because it was just too hard on her body. She made it about three quarters of the way through, and doctors say that's further than most people would. Now, the scans at the end of this month will tell her if the treatments are working and what the next step is in her cancer journey. While insurance is covering a lot of the treatments, the cost of living away from home in Texas is really adding up. So if you'd like to help out the Secora family, a fund is set up at the Western State Bank in Towner, North Dakota. We have the address listed with this story on valleynewslive.com.